Hello my lovelies and happy summer. I have been kind of updating my summer wardrobe over the past couple of weeks as soon as it kind of shifted and got quite nice and warm out and I found that I have a few kind of gaps in my wardrobe so I wanted to share the essentials. This is always where I like to start when I am updating or just refreshing my wardrobe for the upcoming season. I think it really works in general. I like to focus on the essentials before I get into all the trends. I always find that for myself at least I just get a little bit overwhelmed if I try to start updating my wardrobe with trends and what do I like right now and what's cool and what's in the shop. So this is very much for myself as well. I like to start out with the essentials. It just means that I have a much easier time getting dressed in the morning and throughout the entire season and it's also making it so much easier to incorporate those more fun or even trendy pieces if I add those on later. So we're gonna get started, but first of all, if you're seeing this weird little thing, I have upgraded my microphone, meaning I got a microphone instead of just using the camera. So um, if it's a little bit weird, I'm very sorry. I'm trying to still adjust and learn and make it better, but hopefully in the end, we'll get to a place where the audio is a little bit better. Please bear with me, we'll get there in the end, I hope. So with risk of being the most obvious I could ever be at the first essential, obviously t-shirts and tank tops. I know it's kind of super boring, so I'm not gonna talk a lot about this. I feel like I talk about these in every single video I make. So I'm gonna try to keep it short and recommend what I always do. I love my heavyweight t-shirts from Arquette. They can sometimes get a little bit heavy, a little bit thick for summer, but they also have others that are beautiful quality. Cos also does beautiful t-shirts. For summer, I I don't typically layer a lot. So I really make sure that the basics and the clothing that I actually do wear looks high quality because it just really can make or break the look, especially when you can't rely on a lot of accessorizing or a lot of layers. So I really like to look at these neckbands, try to make sure that it's sewn in nicely because details close to your face are more visible, obviously. I really prefer them to be a bit wider. And you can see here on this t-shirt as well, this is washed many times and it still just lies so beautifully and flat. The second thing that is definitely an essential for me for summer is a pretty kind of like more interesting, fun top or blouse. So I want to show you some examples. These are all quite old. I None of these are new, but you find a lot of similar pieces like this. Again, talking about not relying too much on accessorizing or layers, these kinds of pieces do so much. And because a lot of summer is very much just a top and a pair of shorts or a skirt, it's nice to have some pieces that I can rotate through and not get tired of so quickly. So I love these tops. I bought this top. This is a linen, obviously crop top, and you have these super puffy sleeves. And this is still super, super comfortable, but it's just really nice to have something that is more dressed up than just your typical t-shirts. And if you're in doubt, just, go for a crochet top. I never really tire of it. It's the perfect material for summer as well. And I really love these because I could wear this with a pair of tailored trousers or I could wear it with a denim skirt. It's so incredibly versatile. If you're feeling like your summer outfits are a little bit boring, maybe take a look at the blouses because the t-shirts and tank tops are kind of a given. They're very obvious, but maybe you're lacking some Kind of more fun tops. So let's talk about bottoms and for me my favorite favorite piece is definitely a pair of linen trousers. As you can see I have a couple and I know that some people can't stand linen because it does wrinkle. For me I feel like I get a pass when it comes to linen. Like if it's wrinkly I just feel like so what it's supposed to be. So I really really love it for that reason but obviously primarily it's because it's so comfortable. Linen is just the most amazing material. If you've tried linen and felt it was a little bit scratchy, I would just urge you to try it again because all linen is not created equal. I'm not gonna name names. I'm gonna name names. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I was very much on a linen kick and I bought some linen from Zara, quite a bit of it, and I couldn't, I, I didn't keep any of it because it was so scratchy and just uncomfortable to have on. Not to shame any particular brand, but, keep looking if that is your issue with linen because it's so amazing. So I have a pair of tailored trousers, super nice and comfortable, perfect for work as well. I mean, if I were to 
turn my entire wardrobe down to only 10 pieces, these would still make the cut. They are so amazing. They are just so incredibly comfortable. So I would really, really recommend that you look around. And then these are also from Arquette and these are, as you can see, obviously drawstring. They are just so, so comfortable, but they're still really nice and chic. And especially if you feel like the tailored trousers are a little bit too dressy for you, go for something like this. And then I also have a new piece that I bought this year. I do have more in my wardrobe in different colors and everything, but we don't need to go through all of them. I just wanted to show you some examples. I am so excited about these. So these are kind of like, almost like a hybrid of the two previous ones. They're not quite tailored, but they have a more sort of streamlined front here. And then they are elasticated in the back. I love when brands do this. It just is so much more comfortable and it means you can have kind of a fitted waist without ever being uncomfortable. But my favorite feature, Look at this print, it's so beautiful. I can't get enough of this, I can't get over it. I bought the matching shirt as well because of course I did. They also have a blazer in the matching print and I somehow managed to not buy that for now. And I kind of feel like I have a nice selection of linen trousers in a few different colors so I could go for something in a print that isn't quite as neutral. My goodness, I love these so much. In addition to trousers, I also really love Shorts. I really like to have a pair of shorts that are a little bit more dressed up, something that is a little bit more polished. These are kind of like semi-tailored shorts. I've not yet worn them this season, so they're looking a little bit more wrinkly. I normally give them a little bit of steam as I put them into my wardrobe out of storage. And obviously these are also in linen because when it comes to summer, if it comes in linen, I want it in linen. But I really love these for even just running errands and looking a little bit more polished than just a pair of very casual shorts. When I'm wearing something like this racerback top, it just looks a little bit nicer when I have a slightly more polished or dressy pair of shorts. I think they are so, so amazing. Next is another kind of obvious one, it's a dress. So I have a couple. I really love a long floaty, sleeping bag kind of dress. I think summer is both easy and difficult to dress for because you can just throw on a dress and you're good to go. But that also makes it a little bit difficult because sometimes the outfits can be a little bit boring and uninspiring and you can't rely on a lot of layering. And I really like getting these like really long, obviously maxi length dresses, especially like get a fun print, get a strong color, get something that is a little bit of a statement in its own. So you don't have that kind of need to layer or accessorize. I'm talking to myself because that is something I often rely on. I've worn this a few times. I bought it last year from And Other Stories and I see that they have brought it back this year and also in more colors. They do it in black and blue and a few different prints. And I get them in a few different kind of dressiness levels. So something that is great for just lounging around in at home. Perfect. This is a little bit more dressy, especially because of these like ties. Uh, this one I actually made myself. It's in uh, double gauze, which is just, it has to be one of the most comfortable fabrics for summer because it's just so nice and breathable. This isn't quite as floaty, but I still wanted to include it. It's kind of quite similar to the linen puffy sleeve top I showed you earlier, but this is kind of like the dress version. I still wear this a lot, especially if I want to be a little bit more dressed up. It's just such a beautiful, great dress for summer. I've worn it a ton. And other stories do so many great summer dresses. So even though this looks kind of more form-fitting, the only place that is actually kind of fitted is the bust and waist area. And this is in linen as well. So it's such a comfortable dress. I want to also talk a little bit about accessories. They're obviously very important for any season, but for summer, you're gonna want sandals, obviously. And I bought these from Sara, I think last year. I do tend to wear out my sandals quite often, so I can't imagine I've had these for longer. I just really love the kind of leather detail, the sort of crisscross situation we have going on here. And I've seen so many brands do that this year. This kind of style I feel like is just really beautiful. And as I mentioned so many times, because I can't really rely on excessive accessorizing or layering for summer, I really focus on the 
accessories that are functional that I will wear anyways, that they look nice and that they elevate the outfit. I noticed that I am running a little bit low on sandals this year. I wore out quite a few of them last year. So I will be looking to add a couple, probably not to brown because I already have this. I can wear these out for this season, but I really want something that is kind of like maybe even raffia or canvas and also a black pair is very useful. Let's stay with shoes for a second. A pair of white sneakers is such an essential in my summer wardrobe. I can't shut up about these shoes, I'm sorry, but also not. These are the Veja sneakers and I bought these kind of end of summer last year. And I remember being a little bit annoyed that I didn't buy them at the beginning of summer because they are just the perfect shoe. I love these so, so much. I know that the quite sporty sneakers are very popular at the moment and the very colorful sneakers and also the Converse. It's not really my style whatsoever, so I just stick with the classics. There's just something about a pair of white sneakers. They go well with dresses and denim skirts and even my linen trousers. They just work so well for all of my pieces here. Love, love, love. There's one more essential I want to talk about, and I think this is an essential in most people's summer wardrobes sunglasses. And because summer is not the time where I layer on a lot of heavy and lots of different kind of accessories, I really like to have some variety in the accessories that are functional, like the shoes, but also obviously the sunglasses. They can do so much to an outfit and I really feel like they finish off an outfit and also everybody looks cool in a pair of sunglasses. A pair of black, some brown ombre, both of these are from And Other Stories. The round with the pearls, but even just a pair of round sunglasses. I think it's so cool and it looks like so much. It just instantly changes the outfit to like, I'm daring to be weird enough to wear round sunglasses. And it, it's such a kind of instant mood changer. Sunglasses are just so magical. They can do so much for your summer outfits. And then obviously these as well. And especially for me, my summer outfits tend to be more minimal. So the accessories can be more over the top without looking like too much. Another essential is a button up shirt. And as you can see, these come in lots of different varieties. And there are a couple of different reasons why I love these. Uh, in the linen variety especially, like something like this, they're really, really comfortable. I don't actually have one that is completely white and I think I've thought to myself before, I feel like I've been here before thinking that I should add that and then I haven't. I do have a couple of cotton ones and I think these are actually valuable in a summer wardrobe as well, especially the more oversized versions. I tend to actually wear these as a layering piece, so let me show you. I also have this striped one that I wear so much. I feel like I've edited so many videos where I'm wearing this, I just love it a ton. So I love these as kind of this layering piece where I don't quite want a jacket because it's a little bit too warm, but I want something either to protect my shoulders from the sun or I want a layering piece for just the smallest amount of warmth for when the sun goes down or in the morning. They are both layering pieces and they also work really, really well on their own, but I try to go for the linen versions if I'm doing, doing it like a top. So if you do have some oversized shirts that you don't tend to get a lot of use out of for summer, maybe consider using them as a layering option. I know that I love them that way. They are just fantastic and I get more wear out of my wardrobe as well. When I wear them as typical, like as shirts, I do tend to go for linen because it's a little bit more comfortable. And then I've only bought one new linen shirt so far this season, the matching one to the pair of trousers I bought from COS. How beautiful is this? It would look so good with the linen shorts. It's gonna look great with a denim skirt. It's gonna look great with everything. I love it so, so much. I just love something that is so basic, but with just a little bit extra. And I wouldn't keep it as the only linen shirt I had, but because I already have like a nice selection, I do have more colors than this, obviously. It just really, really works. The next piece I have already mentioned a couple of times in this video, and that is a denim skirt. And for me, this is kind of interchangeable with a pair of denim shorts as well. I do tend to go back and forth on whether I prefer the shorts or the skirt. It's just kind of my mood, really. I know that the midi and even maxi length denim skirts have been really, really popular. I think it looks great on other people. I just don't really see 
myself in that trend and I also feel like it would defeat the purpose of being very comfortable but I might be wrong. Let me know if that is something you have discovered and now love. Either way, I think it is fantastic. It goes great, obviously, with the t-shirts, the casual pieces, but it also goes great with all my linen shirts. I don't feel like it looks great with all of my dressy tops, but with things like crochet, it just, it's such a dream. All of the textures just work so well for summer. So something like this just works really, really well. Either way, it's just such a fantastic, comfortable, really versatile piece that I have thrown on so many times in the morning when I don't know what to wear and I just need to get dressed really, really fast. The final piece I want to talk about... I know I've talked about this a lot and I am very much a blazer girl, but a linen blazer. I love it for summer. It's the most comfortable I can get a blazer to be. It's a little bit on the oversized side, but nothing too wild so I feel like I need to try really hard to style it. It's just a beautiful layering piece that is really great over dresses. It's kind of a little bit more dressed up. So if I'm going out at night and I want a layering piece that is a little bit more chic or smart and I don't want to be too warm, this is just something I go to all the time. It also works so well with all of the other linen pieces I have and it's really really versatile. I love mine and I wouldn't put together an essentials list without a blazer, you know me. So these would be all of the kind of top of list essentials for me, the things that I focus on if I am upgrading my wardrobe. So I'd love to hear what you put on your essentials list for summer and if you want some summer content and you have some ideas, do let me know. I'm hoping that I will get to film a little bit more content this summer and I'm really excited to talk to all of you about it. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and that you are enjoying summer so far and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. Bye!